So Elliot asks how to disable comments for anonymous users. So he wants to allow comments for people who are logged in, but for anonymous users, he wants them to be able to browse around the documentation, but not comment. So let's see how to do that in Confluence Cloud. So if we go to um, Confluence Admin and search for Global Permissions, you can see it on the left here, we can see in this particular case, I've already done this, but you can go in and edit global permissions and anonymous access here, and you can allow anonymous users to, um, to access Confluence. And once you've done that, you can then go in and look at space permissions. Um, and we see here that you can't by default allow anonymous access to spaces. So that's actually good because it means that you have to go into each space and allow anonymous access. So let's go and do that. So I've got this space that I've already created called public space. And um, I can see that because I'm logged in, but my anonymous user in this other browser, you can see that there are no spaces that they're available to see at the moment. So let's change that. If we go into space settings and space permissions, right down at the bottom, you see anonymous access. We can edit this permission. So if I select all and save, that means that anonymous users will be able to do everything and anything in there pretty much. So if we reload this, we should now see that we've got this public space. Um, and you can see this anonymous user can edit it. That's something we really don't want. But um, if we go in and have a look here, we should be able to see that anonymous users can actually write comments. So again, not cool. So if we just go back and edit the permissions again, I'm gonna click on select all, then deselect all to get rid of everything. And I'm just gonna click on a view all permission for anonymous access. So this time, once it's saved, we can go back um, this pencil is going to go away. Um, so now the pencil's gone away. They can't edit it anymore. But importantly, as Elliot asked, there are there's no ability to go in there and add a comment for an anonymous user. But if I am a logged in user and I go to the same place, you can see that because I've got the permissions, I can edit it. I can write comments and so on. That's it.